What in the world? Russia and China making a moon base. What time do we live in right now? If you want to support the show in a different way, you can go to marfuglenews.com slash VPN. What is going on, guys? It is Adam, A.K. Marf, and this is Marfugal News. Today, we're going to be talking about Russia and China making a moon base. It sounds weird even saying it. Uh, first, I want to introduce you to my co-host, Dex. Dex, what is going on, and how are you doing today? Well, hello, Adam. I'm doing good, and hello, Fugal fam. So, Dex also is our, uh, you know, our... our uh, our tech guy, I guess, Dex, the tech guy, and he has made basically an, a whole website with everything backed up on it. Uh, of course, over here at marfuglenews.com, you'll see that we back up every single thing we say over here. So you'll see this thumbnail on our website, and you'll be able to end up clicking through and seeing all of the associated links that we show you here today. With that out of the way, let's get right into the article. Of course, Russia and China plan to build a joint lunar space station. Yeah, it's seriously just nuts saying this out loud. It says, Russia and China agreed Tuesday to build a lunar space station as Moscow seeks to modernize its extraterrestrial might and catch up with the United States in the space race. Russia, which sent the first man into space during the Soviet Union, has been lagging behind Washington and Beijing in the exploration of the moon and Mars, which, of course, uh, China has gone to the far side of the moon, uh, supposedly, and it says that Russia's space agency Roscosmos said in a statement that the memorandum was signed by its head Dmitry Rogozin and Zhang Kijian of uh, China's National Space Administration. It said that the lunar station will be designed as a complex of experimental research facilities created on the surface and or in the orbit of the moon. So they, they added that part in there, which I think is pretty interesting. Uh, Dex, first of all, this is straight up uh, like the Netflix show uh, Space Force. We're actually seeing in real life them talking about, uh, you know, Russia and China having a moon base and the U.S. having a moon base. Not only that, Russia has talked about putting lasers to defend the Earth against, uh, of course, uh, asteroids on the moon. And now we are actually seeing it, you know, supposedly being done. What do you well, think about and, this? Yeah, you know, what's crazy in my mind, or, or, and it's kind of obvious when you look at it, you know, the evolution of our own space program, or I should say the um, uh, the commercialization of our space program has really broken the ties uh, between U.S. and Russia when it comes to space, right? We It wasn't that long ago we were sending our astronauts up on Suez and we were paying top dollar for it and now we're using Elon. So to see that all of a sudden, you know, Russia is going to go partner with China on this as opposed to look for an international, you know, type approach where, you know, the the US and Russia and others are all together doing something. It really then strikes that, you know, that the ties are broken in the space program and definitely says there's probably a very valuable uh, uh, asset here for them when they think about capturing the moon and what it's going to mean to them from a, a base perspective. And, you know, how are they going to decide that? How are they going to decide uh, who gets what? This is an actual thing that they're talking about right now, uh, you know, claiming land on the moon. One thing I have said, and I firmly believe this, and this is where I kind of get serious, is I, I uh, you know, people have called me kooky because, and even my, my good friends, one thing is that we have talked to several people and this is what we always have to kind of be careful about because people get uh, really freaked out about this. But we have talked to, Dex and I have vetted somebody who actually saw the paperwork and audits the transactions that our government does and FEMA does and, and some of the things that came across uh, their desk was basically money put towards debris cleanup from something hitting from space, from space debris, and specifically mentioned was a class two gas giant. So that sounds crazy, but then we vetted the person, we go, okay, this person does have this position, this person's a real person, we video chatted, this person is who they say they are, we've seen their identification. 
So at that point, it opened up all these doors in my head of why all of this other stuff was happening. Why is New York doing an asteroid simulation uh, with FEMA? You know, why are they uh, doing, you know, uh, the Operation Bennu, you know, uh, uh, Osiris Rex, uh, Hayabusa 2, Hayabusa, uh, you know, the Japanese missions, the U.S. missions, even Israel doing a mission going to the moon. Why all of a sudden in the last decade are we now trying to get to the moon again? It's not to, to get there. It's not a space race like, oh, we're the first one on the moon. And I see that everybody is saying that it's about money because there's iron in space. Well, we've always known that. And if we've been in space this whole time, then why weren't we doing that earlier? Uh, they say that, you know, uh, there's diamond encrusted uh, asteroids out there. Uh, I bet there is. Okay, maybe that's it, right? We're trying to get diamonds that aren't from Earth. When really, if you look at it, at the same time, they we are seeing all of this change on Earth. And of course, we had uh, two of our first interstellar visitors ever come in swoop by earth and then actually speed up on their way out if you want to look up a mua mua uh that happened and then you've got all this weird stuff happening with the observatories getting shut down and then of course the events that happened in the last year it was really funky and kind of weird then we have apophis that was supposed to hit in 2029 or they said that it was a very good chance it could hit we have florence apparently passing by the largest in history uh, asteroid it would end earth or everything on earth if it hit uh, they say that it has a chance of hitting later on some say 500 years or whatever it is but more so what if something like apophis is going to hit us in 2029 would they tell us or would they all of a sudden put all of this money into space why are all the elites leaving their position? We had the mass exodus of 2019, 2020, and 2021. All of these uh, high-profile CEO elites have left their position. There was over 3,000 in 2019. Now we're up to the 10,000 mark. This is what the most recent thing where they've added up all of these, the most influential people. And a lot of them left their position when they had, you know, they're 27 years old or 33 years old. And yes, you, you could say, oh, well, they're retiring early. They've got enough money. These people were set up for life, even offered jobs. You know, they, they, they weren't moving to another place. They're not leaving and then coming back. They're just gone. They're just done. They're not going to work for the rest of their lives, even though they had a cush position where it's just everything. And I could see that a couple, you know, here and there. But almost all of these influential people are leaving. And it's funny that a lot of them line up on this whole new sign-up sheet for uh, Asgardia, which is an actual nation, and they're forming this and doing everything legally to start this. Between Asgardia, between everything that's going on, uh, Starlink actually having sensors in it. Starlink isn't just for internet. It's also to uh, sense hypersonic speed objects, which include hypersonic uh, missiles, but they also include hypersonic uh, speed objects. So are we building some sort of defense around us? If you remember, it's not too crazy to think that. Elon Musk was grabbed for asteroid defense in the very beginning. There's, there's, uh, you, you know, there's um, interviews talking about it because he's one of the few people that had this company. Why did Jeff Bezos, you know, step down and put all of his focus, not from Amazon, which is, you know, literally tripling and exploding right now, and why is he putting all of his money, even his own money from his own pocket into Blue Origin at a tune of $1 billion, a billion, not a million, a billion dollars of his own money went into uh, Blue Origins making rockets before it was even making money. It wasn't even making money. So if So is money really the object here? You're talking about two of the richest people in the world. The f factually... Uh, you know, besides the hidden ones that they don't tell you about. What is actually going on here? Dex, I think, I, and you know my opinion on this, people think I'm crazy. And, and then I don't even like telling some of my friends and family because they look at you like a weirdo. But would they tell us if something was headed our way? Do you think so? No, I don't think so. And and I look at this as like we had a we had a race back in the 60s and 70s. And then all of a sudden something happened. Somewhere in the 80s, something happened where we didn't have this need or something was preventing us or something was calming us and preventing us from actually going 
off planet in a big way, just keeping it all in low earth orbit. And now something in the last two years, you know, three years has all of a sudden lit a fire under everyone to get up and get as far out as possible. Right. We're, we're talking about terraforming Mars. Okay. So it's common sense. Why do all of these countries all of a sudden have to do this? There's countries that are normally not involved of, you know, keeping up with the Joneses that are jumping onto this. Why all of a sudden are countries like Norway and all these other countries that are packing away like Noah's arks, seeds of everything? I, I think there's too many weird coincidences here. And everybody wants to say they're just coincidences or it's for, you know, uh, it's for continuity or this or that. Do you believe that? What in your gut? Do you think something's wrong after CV hits and all of this weird stuff? Now they're getting us to the point where we do exactly what they say. And anybody who steps out of line is just disappeared. They, they delete you. It doesn't matter. You, you don't, they don't have to take you out anymore. They'll just delete you from online and you basically are taken out. If you have no uh, use. I mean, they're, they've done it to where... Uh, there's a, such a monopoly on some of these services. You take off one, and it's like they can't use anything. They can't. They can't even use maps to get around. They can't use email. They can't use this. They can't use that. It's crazy to think at all of this is going on right now. In just the last few years, something massive is happening. Why do we need to get to space so bad? Why was there deadlines? Why? Why did Space Force get get created? think about it people it's not because and they could say oh because these two other countries are weaponizing it and we had to go in and do it as a defensive measure that doesn't explain going to mars and terraforming mars and the richest person in the world right now elon musk why is he getting so rich he's contracted with some of the most in people in the world his boring company is is government contracts his uh neural link contract is about to be government as well you've got his spacex contract and then you of course have uh i think he has a new company now that's going to be contracted didn't we just talk about that isn't he um doing another project that 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 is about to get picked up oh batteries huge gigantic batteries for power grids Right now, there was a story we covered last night where they saw people in Tesla hats, Tesla uh, gear, everybody was in Tesla hard hats, and they were putting in a gigantic backup battery to the Texas grid. Now, why would they be doing that? A lot of talk about EMP, about all of these different things going on. Is it going to be natural? We don't know. But when it does happen, everybody's going to be kind of separated and you know toe the line and even stand in line they're even going to be spaced out to make it easy so uh dex do you have anything else to say about this i know that this is a this is a big one for you too no but keep keep an eye out on on what's happening with spacex and what's happening between you know china and russia because those are those are the two big things that i think that are going to be tell going to be tell signs as to what may or may not be happening that will affect us well, either way, uh, make sure to check our website for all of this and web-only content. Thank you for watching this Marfugal News short. And again, this is much shorter than our live show, which again, if you haven't seen, make sure to go check out. And while you're at it, go over to Marfugal News, the main channel, at 165,000 subscribers and go subscribe. Thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate each and every one of you watching, no matter how you watch, on the phone, on your TV. Uh, Thank you for your support. Uh, You can also go over to the website and support us that way as well. Any of the shows will actually have all of our affiliates uh, right there on the right side of the page. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Be safe. Be prepared. And Marf out. If you guys want to protect yourself against EMP, I would highly recommend going with the same route that agencies are going with 
uh, right as we speak. Of course, EMP shield has been keystone military tested. It will ground the signal before frying your devices. And by devices, I mean all sorts of devices. Uh, talking about uh, they make a device for your car. They make a device for your uh, generator, for your home, for your RV, for your boat. There's all different devices. You can go to uh, marfuglenews.com slash EMP and of course protect yourself against all three phases of an EMP including their car model which is their most popular and can be put in and installed in about five minutes so then you are not stuck if the lights go out uh, I, again that's marfuglenews.com slash EMP thank you guys for supporting us uh, small commission goes to us and you guys get a huge discount so it works for everybody. Feed the haters to the alligators. Your weight or the highway. See you later. BOD is the homie and Mr. Vader. If it wasn't for you, I would never made it. Whole city's covered by the cremated. Now they listen to what we were saying. Doesn't matter if my manufacturer or created. Put now, put later, responsibility and underrated. They just won't say it. Till the cities like the bricks they be laying. Put the deaths is now displaying. Screw shut down and they just ain't playing. People panicking, freezing like a mannequin. Miss, we be smashing them. Bibli RV is bagging them. Food the family is a force like Anakin. First Amendment, we be packing them. Tell me about you, we ain't lacking them. Gold and silver better be stashing them. No point to go, go platinum.